uh, congratulations on the show. And um, oh man, I have to tell you, that Victoria man, she's a little scary, huh? <laughs> She can be at times, um, probably most times, yes. Yes, <laughs> she's a very volatile character. Yeah, what's it like for you to take on a role like this and play a first lady in this capacity? <laughs> well, you know, I, it's, it's been interesting. Um, Victoria would be considered somewhat of a villainess, which is, which is interesting for a first lady, I think. Um, so I, I've had some really, some really huge shoes to fill. She's, her character is completely opposite of my persona. So it's been a lot of fun playing her. Um, I've had to draw from some places that I never thought I would, but it's, it's been really, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I've, I've drawn from uh, Mommy Dearest, Joan, Joan Crawford and, and Diane Carroll and, you know, the, in the old dynasty days and Maleficent. So it's, it's, it's been fun putting her together. Yeah, I can just imagine how much fun it is. And I'm wondering, you know, when, when you were approached uh, by Tyler Perry about this show, about this script, you know, you, you look at it and you read it. And I, I can't even imagine what your first reaction was to not just Victoria, but just all, all these characters, the whole family. Um, I was in shock and slack jaw the entire reading of the script. It, 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 yeah, it's... He comes from, a, I don't know how his mind works. He comes from a place of, of uh, fantasy, but you don't know, you never know what really happens behind, behind closed doors at the White House, right? So, you know, we all fantasize about what may be happening. And so it's, it's, it's been a wild ride. Reading the scripts has been crazy. I'm, I'm always caught off guard and by surprise, and just as the audience is after every episode, there's a cliffhanger. So. It's, it's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun um, d delving into the characters and each character has something amazing to offer. So I'm excited to see what the second half of this season uh, will bring because a lot of the audience will be, um, a, a lot of the characters' stories will be revealed to the audience. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I want to ask you a little bit about Tyler Perry, because I, I just honestly, I've interviewed him many times. He's just a wonderful man, but he is so brilliant. Like he has so many shows on the go, so many, and then his movies and then, you know, his charity work and everything that that man does is just extraordinary. What is going on behind that brain? <laughs> well, I don't think much sleep happens. Uh... <laughs> And, you know, and it's interesting that you ask that because I, I, I think that to myself all the time. Like you said, he is brilliant and he is a visionary. Um, I, I know he pulls from a lot of personal experience, but I know that he is also very um, culturally aware. He's very uh, politically aware. Um, and so he pays attention to everything. He reads a lot. He, he, he studies a lot of different areas um, that most people probably wouldn't even consider. So uh, he has lot to pull from and he's just very imaginative so it, it, his stories are original and um his creativity is is awesome yeah and just to be you know working around him um I, I can't even imagine what that's like it is truly inspirational he's he's very hands-on and like i said he is a visionary and it, he's been a mentor to me. I've learned so much from him. And he's a lot of fun, too. I don't know, you've interviewed him, so I'm sure you know. Um, he has an amazing sense of humor, but he, um, he also has an incredible business mind that we've all learned a lot from. Yeah, it's pretty extraordinary. And just, just the whole, his whole studio in Atlanta, everything, like just kudos to him. He's, he's really, this is amazing. Um, I, I find it this ironic that we're, we're going to, get the part of the next season it's coming out on um, the same day that the Michelle Obama documentary is coming out. And I don't know if you've had a chance to see it. It's coming out on Netflix and it's, it follows her, her book tour becoming, and it just, you know, you watch that woman and you just go, God, do I miss her? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I miss her so much. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's just funny that, that these are both coming at the same time, but it, she's just, you know, is she in any way an inspiration to you? I mean, I know she's nothing like this character that you're playing, but do you think about, did you think about her a little bit when you played her? 
<laughs> no, not at all. I, you know, I didn't want for Victoria to be associated and it, it, I don't want her to be associated with any previous first ladies other than perhaps her fashion sense. Um, but she's in a league all her own. So I, I haven't drawn any, <laughs> any inspiration from any other first ladies at all. Got it. Got it. No, for sure. That, that, that's kind of good to hear, actually, when you when you see Victoria. Yeah, I get it. You also have such a great, you know, musical career, such a great talent with your music. Is that, you know, are you doing anything with that? Are you, while you're quarantined, are you make, doing music? You know, where's that going? You know, it's so interesting that you say that. Since I've been, since we've been, you know, inside, I've tapped more into, you know, uh, exercising my, my vocals. I've kind of gotten away from music. Um, and it's something that I've really been thinking about getting back into, at the very least, musical theater. So I, I, I think I would like to tap back into that. Well, we would love to hear you get back into that. So think about that serious, okay, okay. But congratulations on the show. It's just, it is really a lot of fun to watch and uh, a very guilty pleasure, I have to say that for sure. And uh, you're, you're terrific in this role. So congratulations and thank you for your time this morning. I really appreciate it.